Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to XCOM Iron Man Impossible. It's Long War 1.0. We're about to go on a downed raider, which is the medium fighter. It is the medium satellite hunter. We shot it down using all of our airplanes, so they're all damaged now. And we're ready to go. We're bringing a scout, a gunner, a rocketeer, engineer, a second gunner, a medic, and a sniper. Uh, the medic has suppression, which is great. So we have three suppressors. So she can suppress when one of the gunners is reloading or whatever. Uh, Rocketeer, I just feel, is absolutely necessary in case we run into a pod that we just can't deal with, like a group of floaters or something. I don't know. Otherwise, I was kind of contemplating not bringing the rockets here, but just in case shit goes tits up, I think Rocketeer is going to be absolutely, absolutely awesome. One flashbang, uh, four exploding grenades, two that do damage to structures, one smoke, and that's it. Lots of med packs in case we get shot. And let's go. Now we need a good mission name here. I want something like, hmm. How about Holiday Cheer? Give me a mission called Prepare Holiday Cheer. That sounds good. What could possibly go wrong with at Holiday Cheer, right? We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Our target went down in a remote area, but we have to secure the site before the aliens recover any survivors. Enduring Flame? That's not a bad name. I'll take that. We're looking for... I believe 14 Illyrium on this mission. If we can get 14, no, it's 12. Maybe it's 12 Illyrium. I don't know. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. But yeah, if we can get 12 or 14 or whatever it is, Illyrium, we can get $120. It's a council request. All right, there's the UFO. Pretty much straight ahead. Oh, look, mountains in the distance. So the UFO straight ahead. How far does the map go to the right? The map goes pretty far to the right. So why don't we go to the right first and we'll just ignore the UFO for the start here. Uh, this map has a ton of high cover. I absolutely despise this map. Look how high this cover is over here. It's just its just terrible. Uh, probably a good place for our sniper up there though, even though there's no cover. All right, first things first. I think we brought a motion tracker on Mr. Scout. Yeah, there it is. Let's take a look around us. Nothing around us. Okay. On the move. So first things first, let's head through some of this high cover. Okay, I saw something that way. There's something right over there. So we might want to get ready for them to patrol into us. Let's put the saw over here. Let's put the LMG at the... Tree. Oh, it can't even get to the tree. Okay, LNG yes. here. Rocket to the tree, maybe? Rocket can't get there either. Oh, shit. Yeah, this high cover is a big problem for sight. It's just awful for sight. To double. But yeah, we're gonna get our sniper up on this platform. Not the best sight ever, but pretty good comparatively. Got it. Moving. If we can get some meld, I'm just gonna try to get it here. I hear skinny men. Floaters. That's all I heard was skinny men floaters. Oh, sectoids. There you go. Okay. Skinny men floaters and sectoids. That's affirmative. Yeah, we had a ping right over here. So I'm going to try not to activate them uh, on my turn. I, w I would like if they would activate on their turn. Yeah, just on. walk into a bunch of overwatches or something. That would be ideal, but it may not be possible. We'll see. LMG might want to stay there, or maybe we should get up top. Like, LMG behind this tree would be very strong. I think we'll try to get there. Got it, moving. All right. Sectoids are closest, sounds like it. We haven't had any meld pings, so I'm not sure where the meld is. I'm not going to go looking around for it. I mean, 
We could probably find it if we really, really tried hard. On my way. All right, little fire over there. Nothing yet. Okay, good. Let's put this the LMG at uh, this tree here. And move everyone else up. Position confirmed. Steady rocket. Steady sniper. I want to stay right there. Yeah, might as well stay there. What's a little scary is if someone patrols into our sniper, we're really vulnerable. So let's let's not let's not get patrolled into. As that would be bad. There's a meld ping. Okay, it's the same ping as the enemies as well. So the enemies are sitting by the meld. Might as well be a fucking mimic beacon if they're just sitting by it. Okay, there's a pod straight ahead pretty much. I would love them to patrol in us. Look how close that guy is. That guy is so close. But he might be down here underneath the full cover where we can't see him. In fact, is that where he is? Nope, nothing there. You can tell there's nothing there because we are allowed to move there. Alright, so it looks like they're just out of vision. They're like right here. They might be down there. Yeah, there's an enemy right there. So they're in the pit. Which is why they can't see us. Okay, fair enough. I think a group of overwatches would be great here. Boy. On my way. Let's give it a shot. Come on, little sectoids. Yeah, I know where you are. Come on. Come on. No? Damn it. Okay. Here's where a battle scanner would have been better than the motion tracker because we could have thrown the battle scanner there and sniped one of them to activate him, which could have been useful. All right, head to the tree. Heading to that location. Okay, yeah, they're definitely in the pit. If that didn't activate them, they're definitely in the pit. Um, either rockets here at the tree or LMG at the tree. Probably LMG at the tree. All right, LMG to the tree. No, 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 because the LMG's got to get way farther than that. Hold on. Half cover LMG? Sure. Uh, if I go there, I'm not steadying. I might as well go here and steady. We're not going to see anything here because they can't see our scout. Solid copy. Yeah, the, the full cover on this map is just really aggravating sometimes. It's like you just won't be able to see... Like our sniper won't be able to see shit in that pit down there. Hmm. Running. Aha! Okay, they're really close, but they didn't activate. I don't know what pod that is either. If I come here, they'll surely activate. So let's go here. Okay. Enemy troops. There we go. Wait, what? Oh my god, that is a really severely split pod. That's a pod of four sectoids, right? Yeah, four sectoids. Three of them over there and one is stuck here. What the fuck? That's just messed up. That is messed up. Now, if I go down here, we're pretty much guaranteeing that anything nearby... Let's just make sure there's nothing else nearby. I'm going to use my last charge here. Yeah, there's nothing else nearby. And they're guarding that melt. Look at that. So let's send an uh, engineer down here and just go pop this guy with a shotgun. Sup, douchebag? Get him, chicken coops! Alright. if I can snipe that idiot. Oh, yeah, you can actually see him. All right, let's see if we can find more stuff to snipe then. 
Mm, it doesn't really help me because I can't see over that rim. Can't get anyone to suppress over there. So since we can't suppress, and th there's no way those guys can see my engineer. Since we can't suppress them, I think we should just try to stay hidden and let them walk into our overwatches. Makes more sense. Alright, just get some half cover here. We'll let them walk into us. There's just so much heavy co full cover. I don't think they can really see us, though. Oh, we'll find out. I think Steady's a little better option here. Heading to that location. Okay. Alright. Kind of a weird activation there. Sort of knew where they were, but not, a, not entirely. We know the meld over here is pretty close. They were guarding it. Uh, let's run the overwatch that they might have. Moving. No overwatch. And the third one is not visible anywhere. And there's three active. Okay. I don't think a rocket is necessary here at all. I may chuck a grenade. You know, from just go run into the corner and chuck a grenade over there. Try to blow up that tree. But most likely we won't blow up the tree. It's just like not going to blow it up. Uh, suppression from this tree could be strong. Yeah, come on up. Oh, there is an overwatch. How did my scout not see that overwatch? I don't know. That's frustrating because I ran, I ran the scout even further than this guy. I guess this tree blocked the way, but I ran my scout even further than this guy just to just to avoid a potential Overwatch. And look, look at that. We got Overwatched anyway. Oh, sniper can't see the flank guy. Shit. Whatever. Take the shot. Nope. Oh, damn it. Well, we're off to a good start. 61 ain't bad. And from full cover, I'm willing to do that. But I could move a second suppressor up here. Like, we could try to kill this guy in the back. Suppress these two. I uh, can't suppress with you. You can't really do much. An assault here would be amazing. Alright, I am going to try to blow this tree up. I don't think it's going to work, but worth a shot. Get lucky? Never lucky. Alright, just pop him. You could just heal yourself instead of shooting that guy. Hmm. Nah, shoot the guy. All right, so we can't suppress this last dude. That's unfortunate. Or maybe we can from here. Moving to position. Oh yeah, we can. All right. Shows what I know. Yes, Get the LMG up. Get the rocketeer up. Where do I want to support? Where do I want to get my rockets ready from? Either this corner down here or something up top. I think up top would be preferable, but the only place I would really want to go would be one of these two trees. I don't want to go there because you might see something else. So I think we'll just go down to the bottom. There's the meld. There's the meld. Give me the cheese. Hello, Bionic Tapeworm. Hello, everyone who's just showing up. It's our first mission of the day. It is a uh, crashed raider, which is the medium sat hunter. Took all of our airplanes to shoot it down, but by golly, we shot it down. I think we're just going to run that and uh, shotgun him. Okay. Alien object in sight. 
Shit. Erky Justo, thanks for subbing. Where have you been, Erky? I haven't seen you in a while, dude. Solutions. All right, let's get everyone moving up. Solid copy. Yes, sir. Let's get Onset healed. If you don't mind. Don't move. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine, Onset. You'll be fine. Don't worry about that mean sectoid Overwatch shot. That boo shit shot. Some boo shit. Sniper can't get anywhere interesting, so I guess just run. Loud and clear, Commander. And our engineer is literally stuck now. I am too afraid to come up this ramp. Uh, we might do it next turn, though, but this turn just Overwatch. Rocketeer set up at the tree. And that's it. All right, let's get us some mel, baby. Oh, it's about to expire. I believe that's the sound of expiring meld. There's no way I can get there this turn. There's just no way, because the ramp to go... See how this is full cover? You can't go up there. You have to go over here to this ramp, and it's going to take me at least two turns to get there. Ah, oh, frustrating. On my way. Well, let's at least make a fucking attempt to get there. Affirmative. Moving to position. All right, let's see if we can. Uh, oh, wow, I'm, I think we're just stuck. <laughs> Chicken coops just can't do anything here. Oh, this maze place is just terrible. I don't know why I put him down there. It was not worth jumping down there because now he can't get out. Pulling ass. Okay, sniper's ready to go. On the move. Yeah, just stay there, dude. Explorando. You're fine, chicken coop. You got a kill. Just be happy you got a kill, dude. Don't want to heal on Seda again? I probably should, yeah. We have lots of med packs. This this is going to hurt. Do you want to move the Rocketeer up? No, just steady. We might need it. Might need it next turn. You had trouble sleeping, so you stopped watching Twitch for a while. Interesting. I have trouble sleeping too, but I think that's because I don't... Okay, I didn't expire. It sounds like it's expiring, though. That's affirmative. Yeah, I have trouble sleeping, too. Typically, it's because my roommate snores a lot. Alright, this is probably a turn where we just don't do anything, because I really want to get that meld. So I don't want to risk activating any shit right now. Okay. It's killing time. Reload is fine. Reload. I think we're good to go here. Steady the sniper. LMG just overwatch. And rockets here, you might as well step up and ready to rock it. Oh, it's still available. 16, it actually went down. The meld went down. Interesting. Normally the meld doesn't go down unless the aliens did something that uses a lot of resources. Like if they took over a new country, um, or if they sent out a bunch of missions or something, then the mill to go down. But normally it keeps going up because they constantly are gathering resources. I'm, I'm not sure why it went down that month or that turn. Oh, let's see if there's anything up here. Moving to position. There's this wide expanse, just like this flattened area where the UFO slid along the ground when it crashed. I really like these maps where the UFO slides along the ground. That makes a lot of sense because the UFO was not destroyed, right? It's just damaged. Yeah, come on out. Okay. All right, we got one meld. I'm happy about that. There's another one vaguely this area, so we'll try to find that as well. 
but the timer on it's probably going to be pretty much gone. Sit to the corner here. Get the LMG up as well. LMG cannot really move unless we go to this tree. That's an acceptable position, but I think we'll skip it. Yes, we'll try to get up here to this half cover. Next turn, maybe. Just keep the sniper here. Engineer, just chill, dude. I mean, you're not doing much until I get over there. I can't rescue the engineer right now. Give me a ping. Thin men to the left. Okay. That could be a problem. If they discover the engineer, that could be a serious problem. It might make sense to come here to this cover. Like, this might be a more hidden position. Okay, good. I was worried that we might get seen just moving there, but now we're good. Okay, uh, move up. Moving out. There's floaters and thin men. It sounds like the thin men are to the left. Uh, no, haven't had a ping on the floaters yet, I don't think. How far can you move up, Mr. LMG? You can come to full cover. All right. Well, before we move the LMG up, let's get... I either want the saw here or the rocketeer here. I think I want the saw to move to this tree next turn. So this turn, why don't we get the saw here? And head there next turn? Perfect. Okay. Rocketeer. To the tree. Steady your rocket. Sniper, just keep steadying, probably... Uh, science guy, come on up. On the move. I like having three suppressors. It's just so oh, flexible. LMG. Okay. Steady sniper. Overwatch Overwatch. and steady rocket. Moving to Overwatch. Yeah, the ping is still out there. The meld ping. There it is. I see the meld. All right, let's go get the meld. This is a very large open area, though, so we might run into some enemies on the way. Yes, let's find out. Copy that. That's affirmative. That's what we're looking for. Oh, did you see something you like? Did you see something you like, Zonkri? Is it the meld? Oh, Zonkri loves the meld. Let me tell you about Zonkri and the meld, man. Zonkri has been on several of my previous XCOM campaigns. And every single time, he's a fucking scout. He just loves being a scout. So he's always out there getting that cheese. You know, I think he, he might be an addict at this point. He's just had so much cheese in his system that he needs it. He needs it, you know? And I don't want to judge, but at some point you just have to say no to that cheese. You have to. Now, if I move, can we get the LMG here? That would be ideal. Let's find out. Tell me I can move there. Oh, one tile off. Fuck me. All right. Well, LMG is useless if it's not, you know, ready to go. So I might as well just get ready somewhere. Special. Oh, floaters to the right. Okay. So we found the floaters. Unless the thin men teleported over there, but it sounded like that was the floater ping. Um, can I make it to the meld without activating the floaters? Probably not. Sounds like it's expiring this turn. Oh, I think it's going to expire. Heading there now. Oh, there's the floaters. Is it just four? It's four, yeah. Well, we could go to the meld this turn, but if we do that, we're risking getting flanked by this floater dude here. Like, and this one too. Both of these could flank me if I go here this turn, so I'm tempted to just skip that meld. Just fall back to some rocks or something. Can you see? Nope, LMG is out of position, and my Rocketeer is not in cover in that direction, so Rocketeer I can't use. This is awful. I can snipe somebody. That's a thing. I'll snipe one of these. I'll snipe the one that's closest to us. Mr. Half Cover here. 91%. Go for the crit, baby. Feels good, man. 
six feet under. Six feet under. All right, so there's a half cover dude, a full cover dude, and somebody off on the right who overwatched. Uh, let's get Mr. Medic to some full cover where we can suppress next turn. Time to motor. Um, Onset is probably just going to chill here in full cover unless I want the Rocketeer there. I think it's okay if I pull the Rocketeer back to this position. We can't steady the rocket though, which is very disappointing. Um, maybe this is better here. This is probably better. Or this tree. Hmm. They're all going to be problematic just because the, the range involved. The range of the rocket is going to be so far away. That's an issue. I don't see any better options for like in cover. Like this would be great, but I can't go there. I don't see any options where in cover and I can steady the rocket. Now ah, let's just go here. Fuck it. No steady. I'd rather be safe than sorry. On should I just come here? And Zonkri, can we get you to decent cover? Not really. This is why I wanted to put to fucking alloy plating on Zonkri, but I wasn't able to do it. Oh, balls. I guess what I can do is toss a smoke. That's the best option. I really wanted to put alloy plating on Zonkri. Oh my god, I can't even put a smoke on those rocks. Fuck. What about this rock? Okay, that'll work. Let's go back to this rock. I had alloy plating available for Zonkri, and I didn't put it on because I wanted a flashbang. And I feel like for the outsiders, you absolutely need a flashbang. So I brought one flashbang instead of armor. Heading there now. It's just like, okay. Oh, launching's good. Usually. As long as you I see where they land. And we did. Expression's fine. 13%. Really? You hit a 13%? Screw you, dude. Fucking smoked everything. It's like, ah, oh, 13%. So the aliens have taken two shots so far. They took a 42, and they hit it. And they took a 13, and they hit it. Don't you love it when the aliens take shit shots and they hit them all? It's just... Oh, it's annoying. Alright, probably shoot the suppressor here. He's the more threatening guy. Even though this guy is easier to hit, the suppressor is the more threatening one. This is where Deadeye is coming in handy. Nice. If you damage someone who's suppressing you, it cancels their suppression. So we can now move Zonkri freely. One tile off of a flank. Damn it. Okay. Twenty-seven, huh? Yeah, the rockets aren't going to be useful here unless I decide to rocket this log. This guy is landed and he's hiding behind a log, but I don't think I can really punish him if, even if I hit him. Like I probably can't kill him. So that's a foolish rocket, and I don't think I can rocket this far away. That's pretty far away. Yeah. No, I can't. There's too much shit in the way. Hmm. If I come here, I'm at risk of getting shot by that guy. I'm surprised I can't see anyone from where we are. This sucks. This position is terrible. And the only one you can... How can you not see this guy? I guess he's too many tiles away. Look at that. She can't see him, even though he's right there. It's just be too far away. Okay, well, obviously you need to run away with Zonkri. He's just too damaged. Probably come over here to this tree. On the move. Let's get that out of the way. Todo cubierto. How do I deal with this dude who's flanking my guys? I don't know. I don't have a good solution for him. I could suppress him somehow, but I'd be risking getting flanked by one of the other guys. Yeah, this is not a good position. That, this guy really fucks me up because I couldn't snipe him. I can suppress him from where we are, which will lower his aim. I guess that's an option. Yeah, this is kind of a shitty situation here. 
his chance to hit me is going to be at like 70%, and if I suppress him, his chance to hit will get down to like 40%. Better than nothing, really. And besides, we have 9 hit points. It's probably okay. If I run back to this corner, maybe we can just take a shitty shot at him. Roger that. 56. I'll take it. Okay, two damage. <laughs> Better than nothing, man. All right. Let's go ahead and suppress him from flank position. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Uh, steady the rocket. And what does Unsada do? I think Unsada should fall back. If we fall to this position, this will flank the floater here, and he'll be forced to move. And I think that means we'll kill him with the suppression. Yeah, he's flanked. So he's going to run. Suppression should get him. I hope. 42. Oh, God. Fucking hell, 42. Well, he ran away at least. It's better than nothing. All right. What next? You're not showing me the floaters. Okay, that sucked. They didn't show me the floaters at all. Hmm. We saw them for a split second, and then they were gone. I don't really feel like I can risk Zonkri running through any Overwatches right now. He's just such low health. Who's got a med pack for him? Math Machine has a med pack. That's about it. So I guess we'll use Math Machine here. Maybe down here in this corner. It's only a half cover corner though. Mm, half cover might have to do here. This sucks. We've got two damage floaters and a full health floater and they're just going to surprise us at some point. Like, hey, remember us? Why don't we see if we can't find this dude over here? Yeah, there's cover there. So if I run here, I can just go see where he is, maybe get a snipe on him, and then run to this cover. Got it covered. There he is. No, there's no way I can snipe that. All this full cover's in the way. So one option is we take a shot and kill him now. We don't have command or anything, so that'd be a very bad position to stay in. But at least it's at least it's something. We can kill one of them. But I really don't want to stand there and get shot. So I think instead... I can't get a suppression on him, can I? No, he's just hiding. Yeah, this stinks. I think I'm just going to have to run everyone away this turn. And just fall back to a better position. Let's see if we can find those two guys on the right. And uh, get a snipe on them, though. I just can't move out there. Hmm. No, nah, I don't think sniping is going to happen this turn. So let's fall back. Stepping off. Heal up. Порядок. I think I just want you to keep steadying that rocket. I don't think I'm going to take that shot with Science Guy. Explorando. Hmm, what do I do with Ansada? I think I'm going to fall to this tree, which is pretty far away from that floater, and let's overwatch from here. Now, where do I put Science Guy? I would love to come back to this tree, but it's easily flanked by this guy. How do I, con how do I control this guy? I don't think I can. Like, I can't just stay where we are. We're just going to get shot by someone. <sighs> no, I'm going to stay here. We're going to kill this guy. Fuck him. Fuck this guy right in the ass. Or, or, or miss an 85. Oh, God. Why'd you have to miss that, science guy? Science guy, why'd you have to miss that? Now we're flanked. Science guy, come on, dude. What the? Where did you come from? What the? 
the hell is this shit? What was that? This, what the fuck? Where did this guy come from? I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Where did he come from? He must have launched. He must have launched, but there was no indication that he launched. The camera never showed us. The camera never showed him launching or landing. Oh, that's so frustrating. When it, when it, when the floater launches, it's supposed to show you the launch and the landing, so you know where they came from and where they went to. It didn't show us anything, so it's basically like he teleported behind us. Ah, uh, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. Nothing. I mean, what are you supposed to do about that? Nothing. That's so, that's so bad. That's so frustrating. All right, fuck this guy. Fuck him in his stupid little head. Boom. Yeah, boom. soon all right this guy's still a pain but i'm not sure what else we can do about him other than just kill him okay need a resupply don't shoot i have no idea where this okay. last guy is no clue if he launched as well then no he didn't launch okay Okay. There goes our scout. That's our flashbang gone. So I don't know how we're going to control the outsiders. I guess with three suppressors, that's the best we can hope for. There's still a pot of thin men out there somewhere. This is just a reload, reload turn, probably. That's bad. Yeah, it's supposed to show you where the floater launched from and where they land, and it didn't show us either. It didn't show us that he was launching, and it didn't show where he landed, so I had no clue that he was going to be over there. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Losing a soldier like that is just... I don't know. I'm, it's, it's, it's incredibly frustrating. And here's a situation where this map is just... I don't like it, because you can drop down into this full cover, but then you can't, you can't get back up. You have to go all the way around. So basically, science guy is useless for I don't know four turns. We gotta wait, wait for him. I guess we'll go heal him up when he gets up here. Uh, fall back from there. Ah, <sighs> okay. And the other mill closed up, which is fine. Okay. To be expected. I can't believe that. Position confirmed. Bouge pas, ça va aller. All right, we're healed up. We've got two people with wounds, Himes, and one dead. This mission is off to a terrible start. Well, at least we can go pick up our engineer soon, I hope. Those thin men are getting closer. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do about that death. That was just... It was just bad luck. What are you going to do? Not even bad luck. That was just... Unintentional ac action? I don't even know how to explain it. But that's certainly not the way that's supposed to work. The floaters are supposed to be visible when they launch and land. So you know where they came from, where they went. 
and we had no indication. Oh goodness, closer than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, might just snipe him. Yeah, just snipe him. Fuck it. Bye bye. Or roll minimum damage. Okay, that sucks. Hmm. I think I want them to stay there. I can grenade that next turn and uh, fuck them up. Twenty-eight percent. Oh my god, the aliens can miss a shot? I don't believe it. The aliens actually missed a shot. I am blown away. I kind of want to hit that tree stump. Oh, I get flank from here? Maybe I'll just take the 50 flank. Uh, that's pretty good. At the very least, we force them to run. I can't even hit the tree stump. At the very least, that flank forces them to run, which is nice. I can't run overwatches here, because our scout is kind of not not alive. Is it worth doing a really big scatter like this? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Ah, don't be too hard on yourself. Did you blow up that thin man's cover? I think you did. Yeah, the Thin Man has no cover. Alright, so he's dead. Pop, pop. Never mind, we can't hit a fucking flank shot. Never mind. Never mind, folks. Nothing to see here. We can't hit a flank. And for some reason, the LMG cannot see him. So, so this is awkward. The LMG here, Math Machine, this dude, he was able to see both targets just a second ago. But now that we've rocketed the Thin Man, now he can't see the Thin Man. And, like... What the hell? Why could I see him and now I can't see him? He hasn't moved. He has not moved and yet I can't see him. I don't know. I don't know. It's frustrating though. Can't see him. I guess I have to suppress the other guy since I can't see the thin man. And try to pistol the thin man here. 34. <sighs> All right. Nope. No dice. No dice. Okay, sectoid down. Just two skinny men now, right? Yeah. Press the overwatch. I don't know what you're saying, but sure. Copy that. Suppress. Don't know where the last guy went, but he was flanked, so he probably double moved. I'm worried that the other guy is overwatching somewhere. It's absolutely terrifying. Wish I had a flush right now. I don't have anyone with flush, do I? No. There's no way I'm going to hit that. On my way. Ready to engage. J'avance. Ça va One percent. Good. Where's your friend? His his other buddy's obviously on Overwatch. He's just waiting for us to run his Overwatch. I can't go find him without running his Overwatch. I don't want to do that. Yes, 
Yes, Commander. Nope, no vision. Still no vision. Where the fuck is the other thin man? Getting a little too sneaky for me. Okay, here is your special. I'll take a 76. He's going to force me to run his overwatch, isn't he? Because I can't see him. Oh. Wait, what? He's just standing there? He's just standing there. Why is he just standing there? Position confirmed. I don't know. Okay. I'm just chilling. Okay. Making sure that's it. That's it. Okay. Ready to rock. Corriendo. All right, let's go find the outsiders that we cannot flashbang anymore. <laughs> Fucking hell. That scout loss was just awful. Got it covered. So we don't have any motion tracker. We don't have any flashbang. We do have three suppressors, though. So we're not hopeless here. We're just, I don't know, handicapped. We're handicapped. We're handicapped. I don't know how useful the sniper is going to be here. It depends. It depends where the outsiders are. Got to go find them. Oh. Yeah, we're probably going to want to use someone like Chicken Coops to go find them. Either Chicken Coops or uh, Zip. Just someone who's not integral to actually taking out the Outsiders. Roger, we'll call. No sign yet. Okay, we're getting pings from the back middle, so it looks like they're going to be in the um, main aviation chamber, the main, I don't know, control, control, control room, whatever you call it. I definitely don't want to activate with, with one of our suppressors, unless it's the LMG. If it's the LMG, it's not a problem. We just he can't move. He can't move and act anyway, so it might as well activate. Yeah, the doors are open. That's a little scary. Solid copy. Coordinate получила. Got it. Moving. Bien reçu. Je bouge. Okay. Bigor. Heading for that location. I'm not even sure where we can snipe from. Like, what locations can we snipe from that they cannot aye see? Aye. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Je suis déjà. Bien, commandant. Commandante. 
Yeah, they're in the back room. Is that door still closed? It is. Okay, they're in the very back room and the door is closed. That's beautiful. Yes, Commander. Probably where I want the rocket. Right there. Rocket here, or sniper. Maybe sniper in the back. Maybe sniper here. Rocket. Sniper there. Rocket here. Suppressor there. Suppressor there. And where do we want the LMG? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On it. All right, rockets, come on up. Steady rocket. Sniper, come on up. On the move. Steady. Hmm. So science guy in this corner. Onseta in this corner. Maybe the LMG there. Let's put the LMG there. Okay. Where do I want to throw grenades from? Maybe right in this corner here. I don't even know. All right, let's do it next turn. We have no flashbangs. That's what's terrifying. What the? F He's on the fucking roof. Um, that's not good. He's on the roof. That is. Not good. Not good at all. Oh man, that's bad. He could pop down anywhere and flank all of us. Like if I go here, he's gonna flank me by coming down in here. Oh my god, he's on the roof. Oh my... Why are you on the roof? Alright, let's take out this one. I just can't deal with this shit. Cannot deal with this shit. Oh, we can't get a grenade in there? Shit. Okay. That's it. Hello. Now, what do we do about Roof Boy? Uh, I, I have no idea what to do about Roof Boy. I guess we could go into the main chamber here and just hide. It does have full cover, so there's nothing wrong with this chamber. Yeah, that might be a good idea. All right, get the fuck in here. Everything's closed, right? Yeah, there's no way in here. I don't know a good way to do this. It's like, what the fuck? He's on the fucking roof. I don't think half cover makes any sense. Double time. All right. Where's he going? Of course, no vision. I love not having a scout here. I just love not being able to uh, run overwatches. 
And we have no way to know if he overwatched. I don't know what he's doing. This is just too dangerous. We don't have a scout. This is all half cover. I don't like it. I'm on the move. Affirmative. Yes, There's something out there. Okay, it sounds like he landed. Sounds like he landed. Can we see him anywhere? It looks like all these tiles are available. But it sounds like he landed out here. I saw the uh, echo from this location. So he's out here somewhere. No vision. Moving out. We're just gonna hide here. I don't see a better option. This sucks. Voy hacia ese lugar. Now he's behind us. There he is. Seventy-one percent. Oh, no dice. Okay, dangerous time. Dangerous. No, oh, that was a double move apparently. Okay, not so dangerous. Okay, say goodbye to Mr. Outsider. I hope. Good damage. How is that a 64? He's flanked. How is that a 64? What? You're right next to him. That sh doesn't make any sense. That was a 64% shot. I don't know how. Uh, okay, panic time. Can anyone else get out there? Like, what the fuck was that? How was that a 64? Leave it. 60. Okay, he's almost dead. Not dead. Got it covered. I can suppress him. That's what we'll do. <laughs> How is that a 64? No, we have no red fog. There's no way that red fog was the problem. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Wow. Pistol overwatch that shit. Mission objectives completed. How is that a 64 flank shot? I don't know. I've never seen a 64 from from point blank range. That should have been a hundred percent flank shot. Oh, oh well. Then's the breaks. Operation Enduring Flame. I wouldn't call it a resounding success. We got a little meld. We lost a scout, and um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty bitter about losing that scout. I think that was a little sad, a little bullshit. Oh well. Back to base. Should not have lost that scout. There was no reason to, there was no reason for that. Okay, so we're out uh, gunner for 15 days, the medic for seven days, just from wounds. And we lost a scout. Chicken coops, give me that sappa. Sappa sappa. One aim, oh well. Good thing you have grenades. Some corpses, um, only eight Illyrium, not enough Illyrium to fulfill the request. Darn it. We needed, I think, 12 to fulfill the request. It was worth $250, or uh, it was worth $120. Damaged alloy plating, which I cannot repair. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, the Illyrium request is gone anyway. Okay. So flying to that mission and flying back took more than four hours. That's fine. <sighs> Still waiting for eight days for a satellite for Canada. Body armor in 12 days. Thermo generator in 20 days. And we're down to 35 soldiers. Tempted to hire some more, but... I don't know, man. Rookies are just rookies, you know? Might as well hire some. Give me eight dollars. Eight dollars. So that's 14 soldiers we've bought already. Damn. That's bad. That's bad. Hopefully we get some good soldiers, though. You know, this month we should get our first Exalt mission. Commander, there's a priority one transmission coming in from the Council. Bomb disposal? Oh, friends in low places. All right. One scientist, one engineer, and 50 bucks. A member of the Triad Criminal Organization has reached out to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly has in his possession a piece of quote-unquote unique technology. We'll need you to investigate. We will transmit further details in cent to, or to Central. So what's nice about this mission is it's fairly predictable. There are some drop-ins at random locations, but other than that, it's a fairly predictable mission. The map is always the same. Uh, the enemies you encounter are pretty much the same as you expect every day. It's like Portent. Um, but at the end of the mission, you get a new soldier. And he's uh, Xiao Ji Zhang. He's pretty good. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for Friends in Low Places. Have a good day.